Hello everyone, and another game from the Huddersfield Sheriff. Round 3 this time, where we're seeing a Sloan Gang player, who saw in Round 1, versus Lord Ox. Uh, Sloan Gang starting Maria, Ali Hensman, Jack O'Hara, Barton Everest and Anthea. And over in the Lord Dogs, we've got the Gamora Jail, Jake Smiley, Philip Swinford, Sister Mary and Gina. So, it looks like to be a Miracles deck with Sister Mary. Uh, I mean, it, it may not be. Uh, she is blessed, uh, but not necessarily needs to be a miracle deck uh, I think uh, you sort of would expect the arsenal if you were going to see a miracle deck uh, Sloan Gang here just looking through discard pile sees lots of kings so expect perhaps a uh, sword of the spirit uh, um, and perhaps some king deeds I'm starting to struggle with any other good king values Evanor likely uh, although uh, not so good so slow moving Barton to Town Square uh, Always shown his hand to the video camera. I know he's not got a lot. Consecration over on uh, Sister Mary. So lowball cheating could be punished here quite severely. Uh, he's obviously a two stud, two influence. Uh, probably give it to probably give it to Philip Swinford. I say here, Shield of Faith uh, on Sister Mary as well. Uh, this. Uh, Saves you a casualty, but also prevents you prevents either player from using uh, shootout abilities that ace or discard people. So, uh, Holy Roller, going on. Uh, that's when you get an extra bullet and you can't make a change in the casualty. So, Sister Mary starting to uh, get lots of miracles. I know, obviously, less good with without the arsenal because you can't boot those miracles to for uh, call out of people's home. Ali Hensman booting for the control point. Uh, looks like we have Sister Mary move to the town square. No, sorry, Philip is going to put a bounty onto Ali Hensman. I imagine on the uh, assumption that if he does call her out, he'll at least get a bounty for killing Ali. Jack O'Hara using the Sloan Gang ability. Uh, he doesn't actually gain a control point now. Uh, and he could... You don't have to decide either at, this, at that point if you're getting a control point or money. You decide in the thing. Barton's calling out Sister Mary. Uh, Sister Mary is accepting. Uh, Sloan Gang just going to look at the miracles again, see what he's got there. So, consecration to stop uh, the cheating. Obviously, in a shootout as well, it does reduce your casualties by three. Uh, and presumably, in this case, he'll use it on Sister Mary herself. So, she'll go up an extra two star bullets and two influence. The influence less of a, uh, an issue at the start of the game. Uh, neither player has got a lot of control points on the table. Uh, one for the Lord Dogs, but um, and, and maybe, but Slang Gang, uh, he's just saying what to do. He's got a lot of uh, resolutions, he's got a couple of cheating varmint, varmints. Uh, he's got Hex Slinging and he's got Benny uh, thing. So, posse here for Slang Gang is just going to be Barton and Jack. Oh, uh, we're going back, just deciding, deciding where he's going to bring anyone else in. Uh, yeah, obviously, the the downside here is that every person he brings into the posse will increase Sister Mary's bullets. Uh, she means the only person. So Sister Mary just for the Lord Ox. So she's only two still already. Shoot actions. Stone passing. Both. Oh, so Stone Gang for the Holy Roller. So that succeeds. So she's going to be three stud uh, first time around. Uh, looking whether he's going to choose Shield of Faith. But I doubt it. Uh, three casualties already. Uh, so uh, not sh uh, unlikely on three stud to l to lose by three or more casualties. I mean, you're very much likely to draw a full house. You need a dead man's hand to to better that. So uh, unlikely to take the casualty here. Uh, so some game needs to win by more than th by, th by th sorry by three ranks uh, in order to get the thing here. Uh, he's also on three stud. So a fairly even shoot at the start. Lord Dogs looks like he's got a joker there. So four of a kind. Likely no jokers by the looks of it on Sloan's side. And even after two games, I've not quite worked out what the draw structure is. I think it's twos, fives and kings. Um, which is, uh, I'd say, one of the more unusual. Uh, you don't, don't normally see such at the high and the low end. Uh, he's running hexes, so perhaps uh, that's why he's running the kings and things. So flush for Stone Gang. Uh, legal four of a kind uh, 
from Nordox, but that actually looks like a cheating uh, four of a kind. He's got two deeds there. So yes, that, I think that is a cheating four of a kind. Um, so he, he could actually play cheating ramen here to reduce the hand ranks by two. Uh, that would put them even, which wouldn't really help anyway, but it would prevent him acing his own casualty. So uh, he's currently down by three hand ranks. Uh, I think no, sorry, no, it's only two, isn't it? So it's it's uh, four four of a kind. Uh, full house flush. So Jack is aced. Uh, although first misplay caught on camera, I doubt it'll be the last. It's uh, always difficult in uh, in play. So Sloane not running away. Uh, I imagine Sister Mary won't run away here either. She has got Shield of Faith, so so will reduce his casualties by one. So a draw here would um, still leave him even. He's going to be two stud. No, he's only going to be one stud now. Um, but he has also got Consecration in case uh, Sung and cheats, so he needs to be probably probably legal full house. Maybe legal four of a kind, uh, although it looked like a joke on the bottom of his deck there, so he's not going to have the joker to make legal. So don't, don't want to cheat in this instance because just gonna, you're going to give Sister... Well, in this case, probably now someone else. I think if you if you cheat, then I imagine Sister Mary will go home booted. Uh, won't want to risk another round on just one stud. Uh, when, when not really necessary, I mean, in a, in a strong position, he's taken out Jack already. So two pair for Sloane, that's uh, not gone well, but legal full house for Sister Mary. So that's going to be Barton aced as well, so not looking good for Sloane, he's down to two inference already and there's already one control point left on the table. I imagine Addy Hensman is going to get called out in this very next action. Sister Mary is still sitting there, uh, got consecration against the two draw. So yep, Sister Mary is calling out Addy Hensman. Uh, she has to accept. Sure actions. Uh, looks like both players are passing, so it's one stud for Sister Mary. Against two draw for Stone Gang. Now, could see a, a full house here, but more than likely going to be cheating, so the consecration probably going to be used in that case to give two extra stud bullets to Sister Mary here, I imagine, again. Um, the, the influence isn't really required at the moment, so just having the extra stud for the remainder of the turn would prevent either of the other two dudes coming to town square. So full house versus full house. It looks like there. Uh, resolutions. Five ghost rocks. That's going to be cheating varmint. Yes, cheating varmint comes into play. So Ali Hensman's going to be aced. So uh, lots of losses in the first turn here for the Stone Gang. It's down to two influence. But only one uh, control point on the table for Lord Ox. He's only got one uh, money as well, so it's unlikely he's going to win the game this time. I don't think there's any one cost deed other than testing range. And you're unlikely to be running that in, uh, I think. Surprised not to bring Sister Mary back to get more actions there for the Sloan game player. Uh, back to home. Uh, if you have got any miracles in your hand, you want to be able to play them on Sister Mary. She doesn't need to be in the town square. Uh, I mean, if, if the Sloan Gang player's first action is to move into the town square, then Sister Mary can just respond and move to the town square. So, uh, two pair for Sloan Gang uh, versus two pair for uh, Lord Dogs, but it's going to be the, the lower pairs for uh, Sloan Gang, but Consecration can be used, so... So Sister Mary, I think, I think is getting the consecration bonus there. Uh, consecration does actually boot, uh, so that that does remain unbooted. It's very useful in Arsenal decks. Consecration, as well as Sword of the Spirit, two miracles now that don't boot to use. So they're very useful for booting to call out dudes at home. And obviously, consecration with its very powerful cheating ability also on the table means you don't have to run so many cheating cards. Stone game passing is also not very useful. Um, I, th I think maybe play. Like maybe I would play Benny here. Uh, it's, he's got a, he's got a fair amount of money. The th uh, Benny's not going to cost any upkeep. He's making three a turn now, so he'll make back the money he spends on Benny the next turn anyway. Uh, so yeah, and it's just an extra card cycle. I mean, he, he d he, those, both the hexlings are useless to him uh, at the moment. He's got no hexes in hand, and only discarding one card, it's still going to make the second hexling useless. So he discards one hexling to keep him Benny in his hand. Uh, but it looks like it's uh, Nightmare at Noon's going into his hand there. Uh, no more deeds for Law Dogs, but he's going to be making three money a turn, I think. Yes. Um, 
Uh, a lower win here would be very useful to him, but he's still going to have five money, I think, at the end of this turn. So uh, he'd move Sister Mary home. I imagine he's got some miracles in his hand. He wants to play on Sister Mary. Um, th and this is why I think the interesting choice is in having Gina as opposed to Andrew Burton. So uh, while Andrew Burton gives you the bounty, which is less useful with the original Log Dog home, it's he, he is. Uh, he does give you the card cycle of, he doesn't give you an extra card, but he does discard one card to get you another card back. So in the instance in his first hand where uh, he discarded the Joker, he can still discard the Joker and get a, a better card. Uh, Sloan Gang still passing here, there's obviously no good cards in hand, but I uh, think Holy Roller, that's going on to Sister Mary, so another plus bullet, uh, if there's going to be another fight. Uh, and, th and this is really where you want the Arsenal's ability because you want to be able to go into the home uh, and call out those dudes and boot them. Uh, Surveyor's Office, uh, so that's going to be nice income generation for him and another control point, so one more control point and he's going to be in a good position. He's booting Sister Mary and Philip to put a bounty on Anthea. Uh, obviously, I don't know if he's running bounty hunters in this deck. Uh, I mean, at the moment it's kings and possibly sixes, possibly nines. Uh, Difficult, difficult to call what else but kings. It looks like queens as well. There's been quite a lot of queens. So king, queen, and then something else maybe with a thing. Uh, Joker there in the lowball hand of Sloan Gang. So that's uh, the first Joker disappearance. Realize another Joker there as well though in the, low, in the Law Dogs hand. So both players losing a Joker. I think Law Dogs has lost both now. Uh, three of a kind for uh, Sloan Gang. So I imagine another consecration here. Uh, on so Philip, first of all, start going a card, Shield of Faith. I perhaps should have kept that. Uh, it's very useful for reducing a casualty. Um, but yeah, Consecration is going to succeed. Again, doesn't boot. Uh, it, uh, it's unbooted. So lots of money still in uh, in the Stone Gang. He's I think, di difficult to tell from the big pile. It's at least over 10. Uh, looks like he's got rid of Benny. Yeah, he discarded Benny to try something else, which is an interesting choice. I mean, Benny, Benny is at least the one card he can play. So I would have expected him to keep Benny. Uh, another Consecration, so uh, if that's... Obviously, can we uh, have one cheating resolution to each cheating hand, so you can't use two Consecrations in two hands. Uh, Wendy coming in for the Law Dogs, so that's going to be very useful controlling the board. Uh, when you move into the town square, so if anyone comes into the town square, I imagine they get called out. Uh, but both players passing, another hexing down, uh, unprepared into the Stone Gang's third hand, and perhaps now he's thinking now's the time to try and have a fight. He, he really just, I mean, he's got a lot of money, so he can use the cheating environments. Um, and, and essentially, now he wants to cycle his hand as best as possible. Um, to see if he can find something better. I mean, he can't play a deed at the moment. Uh, he's looking, I think, for dudes who can... Uh, uh, studs who are going to have a good fight. Uh, I mean, Benny would have been useful just because of the fact he was a one draw. He could have called someone out and tried to have a fight. Uh, and there's no influence. You're not losing anything if he gets Ace. Bunkhouse. So that's check for Law Dogs. He's got three control points to the two influence. Over on... On the Slung Gang side, Slung Gang needs to get to the bunkhouse here. Uh, I mean, if he wants to stay in the game, A to take the control point, B just give him some extra influence. Uh, Maria moves to the town square. I imagine Wendy should call out Maria here, but no, Sister Mary moving to the town square, and now Anthea's moving to the town square. Uh, I, think, I think that may be a mistake, because if Wendy had called out Maria, then you force Anthea. If, if Anthea wants to join the fight, you force Anthea to boot to join. And you can use Wendy's ability to boot home Maria. Now you've got left home with two booted dudes. Maria, uh, Wendy, sorry, bit of a cannon fodder. You can just die. I mean, you've got to assume that Sun Gang hasn't got any dudes in his hand with that much money. Uh, thing. So unprepared, going to boot Sister Mary and all her cards. So she's still only zero stud because she's in the fight with Wendy. Uh, Wendy is booting home Maria. So. Uh, Sloan Gang is pondering. A fight they'll never forget. forget. Uh, so each dude in his posse gets one plus one bullet. Uh, each time someone is aced, someone's going to gain a control point. Uh, yeah, so there's Maria booting. 
Um, what's the thing? So, so three stud. No, uh, yeah, sorry, yes, three stud versus two draw. And, and, and no, in theory is not draw. I think by default. Uh, never quite. Not all too familiar with the the latest Sloan Gang. Uh, the issue is not bullet, so it's one draw. Uh, get up against uh, three studs. So you've got to feel confident for the Law Dogs here, pulling at least the full house. No backup on uh, the uh, from using the, the miracles, but so so four of a kind on both sides. So at the moment they're both losing a dude. So I imagine it'll be Wendy and Sister Mary, but. Uh, five money, that's going to be cheating environment. So, uh, he's now winning by two hand ranks. Uh, and he's been very lucky there to draw into the full hand, into four of a kind legal, because the cheating resolution, uh, consecration would, uh, very much be useful in that it would reduce his casualties by three, so he could keep Sister Mary and fight another day. Uh, presuming at that point, go home booted, you don't need to try and win, uh, this turn you can stay on so uh, another cheat environment from Soyang so he's up by four ranks uh, he's had those for a while but he's finally got to use them and an opportune moment and, th and this is why I think playing the Benny in and calling someone out would have been a useful move because you've he's got the money uh, it's not what you know so he's going to reduce his hand rank by two. So yes, the, the non-cheating very useful there. Down by four ranks would have been the same. So he's up by three ranks. So Wendy getting aced. Sister Mary and all those miracles getting discarded. So a control points for Anthea. And suddenly things have turned around significantly. So it's down to three influence for uh, the Law Dogs and two for Sloan Gang. But still a check for the Law Dogs. Uh, and Thea needs to move to uh, a bunkhouse uh, in order to save that. So yes, yeah, so I think I think going back to the the Wendy instance, I think if he called out Maria, uh, then also that would that would have forced the unprepared out onto Maria. So then Sister Mary would not unlike to be un unprepared and could have fought in the second round against the two dudes. So it could be a costly mistake that. Um, We'll see how this game goes on. Uh, and here's the bunkhouse, so sh two control points against three influence, so everything's all right for the moment. No need uh, for Law Dogs to have a force a shootout. Uh, yes, uh, n no extra control points from Raw Jail because everyone's been aced on. Uh, the same gang side and only against other players do you can't gain an extra control point when your own dude gets discarded uh, and this is a problem with having lost Sister Mary and being the only blessed uh, going back to starting Andrew he also gives you a second blessed that if you do lose Sister Mary in, in something you can still put those hexes onto Andrew and you may not necessarily be able to use them because uh, you might not guarantee the pool anymore but at least you're getting them out of your hand and they're not clogging up your hand not being able to do much uh, so Sloan Gang winning low ball again, another uh, three money, or f five money, or four money really, one, one from the low ball win, uh, and he now looks like he's got some hexes as well, so Maria's going to be able to have some of those. So first up, El Grajo, uh, uh, still probably I don't think to say his name properly, but uh, I will continue to try, <laughs> and if anyone knows exactly how to pronounce it, please put it in the comments and I'll stop butchering names. I'm looking forward to uh, a movable object on supplemental force when there's even more people. Uh, Gina moves to the surveyor's office. Uh, Rapier onto El Grajo. So now he's three stud and he's got his super duper ability to get back to stud should anything go wrong. Uh, Philip to the town square. It's uh, Mirror Mirror onto. Uh, Maria, not too useful at the moment because everyone's a draw, so uh, it's not going to be able to use it to turn into a stud. Um, wondering why Philip's gone to the town square. Perhaps he's going to try and call out Anthea at the bunkhouse. Not sure that's. I feel that's perhaps a bit over aggressive here. Uh, I mean, he's not in danger of losing. 
even if you took the surveyor's office, um, which you can only do with Maria. Um, he it would um, still still only be tied on control points, and he'd still be getting three a turn, uh, two two with uh, if he loses low ball. Um, but I mean, he's perhaps he's just feeling he's not got much opportunity to play a lot of cards in hand anymore so feels he's got to try and have a shootout but imagine if Philip calls out and Thea here El Grajo is going to join the fight and a three stud versus one draw is not likely to end well uh, I don't know if he's got much cheating punishment in his hand I mean he's used it it's not what you know uh, but Philip is calling out Anthea she accepts so Posse I imagine Gina is going to join she's well past her use of doing anything, she's no influence. So, yep, there she goes. And now Glasgow joins as well with his rapier. So, uh, shooter actions. Sloan first. He's got her uh, unprepared on Phil. So, uh, and it's a nightmare at noon. So, each dude in one posse is minus one bullet. So, that's going to be the Sloan gang. So, uh, Glasgow becomes a draw for the time being. And it's a bit unfortunate that uh, he's the second player here. Oh no, he, he's the first player uh, here. Um, yeah, so yeah, he, really, he really wants to be the second player. I'll have two copies of that really because uh, Grajo here is likely to boot the rapier to gain and become a stud again. So uh, he will still still be three stud. Uh, becomes, sorry, he becomes four stud because he still he hasn't uh, he gets plus two I think from his effect, doesn't he? Uh, so, so I think four stud on one draw versus two draw on the Lord Dog side. I could get lucky here and get. Sort of, I think he's, he's got to be looking for four house uh, to, to stand a chance. Anything less and. Uh, very much in danger of being game over. Philip dies here, then it's just two control points for the Lord Dogs player, and Maria can go and take the surveyor's office. Uh, so, uh, just look into the discard pile. Uh, I think it's, it's definitely twos and kings, I think, but it's it's difficult to tell what else. It's very... I mean, he drew a flush earlier, so uh, he's obviously running a lot of clubs if he, to get the flush. Um, it's not, a, not a, a common thing to see in a index running sort of 3x16, 3x... Sort of down to about 3x13, so obviously running lots of clubs and perhaps then few... Deeds, not seen play a single deed yet, although in this match not been really the, the opportunity to play any deeds. He's had a lot of uh, resolution cards in his hand, but he's also he doesn't want to play them because it's just going to give the Lord Dogs a, an easy chance of winning. Uh, so uh, Lord Dogs just thinking about this here. I don't think he's drawn, redrawn his hand yet, and he's deciding which card to draw. Uh, I can't quite see. Well, he's got it. So yeah. So it looks like he's got a full house there. It was a very short uh, display. So he didn't quite get a good look. But uh, so he needs a four of a kind. Uh, he, can, he can possibly get a four of a kind, or possibly just go to a three of a kind. So um, looks like he's getting rid of. He's discarding two. So he's discarding two nines. Yep. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so it was a full house. So he's looking for better. So three of a kind, uh, not long well, full house over on Sloan Gang, so he's going to wish he's kept those nines, uh, because Gina and Philip have both died, uh, and had he kept that full house, we one on each side, so we've been Gina and uh, probably would have been, I think it would have been, an, it would have been Anthea at that point, because El, uh, El Grajo is... is Gets the influence by Isaac Dunkhouse, so he could still control that. Uh, he wouldn't be against Philip. Um, where it, and so while and, and Thea does have control point, 
Uh, Ebenezer, uh, not one you see often. Uh, a one draw, no influence, so he's not going to be very useful for uh, controlling deeds. In certain moments, it is two control points for the Sloan Gang versus two influence for. Um, so, so So Sloan thinking here of moving Maria to the surveyor office, which I think is a very, very good thing to do. I think, I think that's what uh, he should be doing. Uh, it's going to force Ebenezer to move. He's thinking of using his outfit ability, but that's yeah, it's got to be a bit of a risk. Uh, he, he wouldn't win this turn anyway because uh, as we mentioned in the early video, you get the control point from the slow now ability after you check for a winner. So if he wants to win this turn, he's got to take the surveyor's office and keep Anthea alive. But uh, I think e even if it forces a move, I think it's, it's still a good move. Uh, three stud El Grajo at the bunkhouse. Uh, Unlikely that either player has got a cheating resolution at this point. Uh, one card in Slangham player, uh, three in the Law Dog player's hand, but he can, so he does move to the surveyor's office. And I think that's not actually the right move. I think he should have moved to Gamora Jail. Uh, so whoever needs to move to the surveyor's office, uh, likely going to be trying to call out Maria. Um, because I think if you, if you move to Gamora Jail, you force someone over to Gamora Jail. Uh, and if it's Ebenezer, so you move over to the thing. You then boot over to the surveyor's office. Uh, Ebenezer either now has the boot to go to the surveyor's office, but that's, that's not worth anything, or you have, to, you have to send Jake over. You then can use the surveyor's office to move uh, Maria over to the bunkhouse, and then you can boot. So now, so now you've got Jake at the surveyor's office. Uh, and you've got Ebenezer unbooted at Gamora Jail, and then you can move um, Anthea over to the Gamora Jail and have a fight with Ebenezer uh, on his own. Whereas here, you've got to have a fight against both of them. He can easily lose Ebenezer, he doesn't, doesn't mind. Um, yes, because uh, the Surveyor's office is busy. Or, or even here, just move, move Maria back to the town square. Um, <laughs> Here because yeah, he's, he's, I, th I don't think he's got enough control points to win this turn as it is. Um, I, don't, I don't think there's any way he can move because Jake can always move to a location, um, he'll move to the, one of the adjacent locations unbooted. Uh, and you can't, and, he, and if you then boot to move somewhere else, then even though you can't get called out, Jake will take it back with his two influence at sundown because, because um, the Sloan gang can only get. Uh, on so Maria is in the shootout uh, on her own. Uh, so a loss here w wouldn't end the game. He's Sloan gang currently on three, four influence. So he's getting plus two from bunkhouse. So one dr one draw from Maria. You've got to think here. He's just law logs. Just should just cheat as best as possible. I mean, it's unlikely. Cheating flush versus cheating full house. So that's a discard there. So. Uh, so it's it's two control points uh, and three influence over on. Uh, so I'm going to Jackson strike just for some money, but uh, don't think he's going to. I can't imagine there's going to be another fight here, is there? Um, he could he could survey his office over to uh, the bunk house, but um, that would force a. I mean, surely we'll get called out there and could end the game. So yes, that uh, both players are passing. So we're going to have another turn. I mean, he's got, got a good income. He's got five income. 
And the same game, it looks like he's walked on a lot of miracles there and no dudes. Uh, so that's not going to be very useful to him. Uh, Sloan Gang, uh, as you can't quite see where he's put his hand at the moment. I think he's just redrawing his hand. Sloan Gang looking for a dude. Um, I think, yes, I think one dude here just move over to Moral Jail, force the boot of Jake Smiley. Uh, and yeah, if that dude has any influence, then he's just going to die horribly. But uh, cheating for house versus cheating two pairs. So Lord also win that. They have lots of money, but I don't think they've got much they can play with it. Uh, looked like he had a couple of actions. So very close game here. Uh, looked like a hex in Sun Gang player's hand, but. Um, Holy Roller on to Ebenezer. He is a blessed. Uh, corporeal twist, so there's an opportunity for a control point there. Uh, minus a bullet, minus two value. Uh, I don't think the value is going to be too useful, but uh, the bullet serves me if there's going to be a fight. So, yes, Surveyor's Office is going to move Ebenezer over. Minus three casualties though, if Ebenezer is the only casualties. I don't think you would, I'm not sure you want to bring Jake in here. Um, uh, so it's both uh, dudes on both sides, so I think this is possibly going to the match. Holy Roller. Um, that's, if only he had a Sword of the Spirit. Uh, <laughs> There's more so casualties and another Holy Roller. Uh, so two draw and so three draw on the Lord Dog side versus three stud and a draw. Uh, and yes, he, he does need to kill Ebenezer here. Uh, if he doesn't and goes home, then... Uh, so, Coral Twist on Ebenezer, that's going to succeed. Uh, so, it's two draw on Law Dogs uh, against three stud and one draw for Sloan Gang. So, odds are very much in Sloan Gang's favour. I've got to think here in the Law Dogs case, he's, he's got to ch possibly cheat as much as possible. Uh, looks, it looks like a dude. I think that's Abram Groth in uh, the Lord Dog's hand. I think he's seven. It looks like he's got six money, so he needs to win here. Although both both do should get an extra bounty. Um, so uh, El Grajo is becoming four studs. So it's going to be four stud and one draw uh, against th two draw. Uh, I think this could well be the last shootout of the game. Uh, either, either side, I mean, uh, yes, this this would leave two to influence on uh, the, the best case would be two influence over on the same game sides with two control points, and the best case would be uh, two influence with two control points over on the the Lord Ox side. Uh, neither do booted though, so uh, but I don't know where better to go. I think possibly surveyor office. Uh, is there anyone? So four of a kind versus a cheating full house. Point blank. So that's going to ace someone. That is Jake. So one rank on. Uh, uh, yeah, and he's. Uh, so uh, Holy Roller saved him this one round, but we're gonna have another one. Uh, I imagine I, uh, Lord, I can't go home now. Uh, neither can the Sloan Gang. Uh, he's if he goes home, he'll be left with. 
uh, one influence against three control points, and uh, he would have one control point against naught influence. Well, at the moment it's one with the bunkhouse. Uh, so, can Lord Ox draw another good hand? Although this time, no Holy Roller to save him uh, in the case where they are where they break even. So cheating five of a kind, I think that's the, good, uh, the best move. It's cheating full house. So it's not what you know. He's down four hand ranks. So he's currently up by one on the Lord Dog side. Uh, he even, uh, I don't think that's correct. I think he's up by one. Uh, cheating environment, he's going to reduce it by two, and that's game. Uh, so very well played there by Slangang, he's managed to pull that back with some strong fighting. I mean, after the Lord Ox lost both his studs, he was a bit in trouble, so uh, good game there. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, uh, I'll be back with round four very soon, which I think features myself. Uh, so looking forward to that. Uh, thanks for watching.